Hello out there to all you students in Math 233 at Franklin College and anyone else on the web that might be watching this. This is the first of two screencasts in which we're going to look at MAPLE, our computer algebra system, and take a look at a couple of, uh, of uh, big concepts of how to use MAPLE in linear algebra. This uh, first screencast is going to be focusing on basic entry of matrices and some basic operations that you can do on matrices. Uh, we're going to learn how to enter matrices and store them as variables so we can manipulate them with MAPLE. We're going to learn how to enter vectors. Uh, how to create a matrix from a bunch of vectors, and even a special goodie, how to uh, generate LaTeX code from Maple. So it makes uh, LaTeXing up uh, matrices, which is usually kind of a difficult task, very, very easy. Uh, the second screencast is going to talk a little bit more about the linear algebra package, uh, which is a very big deal and contains all the tricks we're going to use for linear algebra. So let's start with this first screencast. And I should mention, too, uh, for basic information on Maple, uh, you should go to the tutorial tutorials of Maple, and there are several very good ones included with the, with uh, Maple itself, or you can just Google for Maple tutorials. So uh, let's first of all find over here in the left-hand side, and by the way, I'm running Maple 10. Uh, the current version is Maple 11, but there's very few differences between the two. If you look down in this left-hand column, you will see a little palette for matrices. Make sure you're there first, and you can see several buttons and uh, adjusters here. Uh, so these uh, two adjusters right here obviously control the rows and columns of the matrix you want. Uh, so we have these two and we just click on these or we can enter in the text directly into the text field. Or another way to enter in the uh, size and matrix we want to create is to click choose, click and hold, and we have a little interactive uh, grid. And if I wanted to create say a 3 by 5 matrix I would just highlight clicking and holding the whole time uh, these little uh, 15 boxes right here. I'm going to come off of this for a second, I'm going to back up to two, uh, and just to sh uh, show you a couple of other things here. Under type, uh, we can enter in custom values, and if we're going to enter a matrix and specify what values we want inside the matrix, what the entries are, we're going to choose custom values. So that's going to be one we use very much. Another one we will use a lot for practice is random, so we can create, for example, a random 3 by 5 matrix and do things with it. The, the middle three uh, types here are ones that we will get to a little later in the course. Uh, there's a pull-down menu for shape, which has some uh, interesting types of matrices. We'll see those later in the course as well. And we can even specify what kind of arithmetic we want to perform. We're just going to leave it at any for right now. And finally, there's a button here. This is truncated in mine, but if I stretched it out, you can see it says insert matrix. Okay. So the way we enter a matrix is to dial up the size we want, specify the type, and then insert. So let's create a uh, random 3 by 7 matrix, for instance. So I would just create uh, three rows and seven columns. I want this to be a random matrix. Say, for example, I'm just practicing my uh, row reduction skills. And I want to just create a big matrix. I don't want to uh, type in all these things by hand. So I can have uh, Maple do it. I just click Insert Matrix, and uh, there it is. There's my random 3 by 7 matrix. Now if I uh, hit the return key and now and Maple now has that in its system. Uh, let's create a custom 2 by 4 matrix, <clears throat> one that we might see for example in a homework problem uh, in the book, so I want to specify what the uh, uh, entries are. So I'm going to change from random to custom values and go ahead and insert and we see when we do this it gives me some placeholders uh, for these eight uh, entries in the matrix. So for example uh, you see the M11, the 1, 1 entry of the matrix is highlighted, and I'm just going to type whatever entry I want. See, so if I want a 3 there, I type 3. Then if I hit the tab button, it moves on to the next one. So I'm, say, enter negative 1 for that 1, 2 entry. Then hit tab again, and it moves, all, moves to the next entry in that row. So I can just keep entering in numbers as I like, hitting tab each time, and then hit enter at the end, and it will in, uh, enter it in. Now, uh, it's very helpful to name these matrices uh, because we're going to be doing things to them. So uh, the way that we name anything as a variable in Maple is to go up uh, in front of it, say up here, and give it a name, say A, and then type in, this is very important, colon equals. Okay, not just regular equals, but colon equals, and then hit enter. So now, if I go back down here and ask Maple what A is, it's going to tell me what that uh, matrix is. I'm going to call this one B, back here, and call this one B, 
colon equals and hit enter and there's that and if I ask maybe what B is it knows now many times we also want to create a vector not just a matrix and the thing to remember is that a, a vector is just a matrix of one column so if I wanted to create a, uh, a three-dimensional vector for instance that's a three by one vector. And when you do that, you notice that uh, Maple's smart enough to realize that I am now entering a vector, so it changes from insert matrix to insert vector. So if I wanted to create a random 3D vector, I would select three by one, change the type to random, and insert, and there it is. Now, one of the things we will do uh, quite a lot later on is to create a matrix from a bunch of vectors. Say if I had four of these 3D vectors, I want to insert them as columns of a matrix, for example. So let's do that. And let's make up a, uh, let's make up four random 3D matrices. And let's call them V1, V2, V3, V4. I'll let this one be V1. V2, I will just click Insert Vector again. Notice it's a different random vector this time. V3, I will insert again, and then V4 is going to be whatever this one is. Okay, so now I have these four random vectors, and I'd like to create a 3 by 4 matrix with V1, V2, V3, V4 as its columns. Uh, the command for this is simply in a capital M, A-T-R-I-X, matrix, parenthesis, then we're going to follow it with a square bracket. And then just type in the names of the vectors who's, who are going to make up the columns of this. And with a square bracket, and then with a parenthesis. So this is going to create a matrix with V1 as the first column, V2 as the second, V3 as the third column, and V4 as the fourth one. And there it is. I can name that one too. Let me call that one C. And there's my C matrix. Now, if I wanted to do the opposite of this, that is, take a matrix and extract out the rows or the columns, that actually is a special uh, function or a special feature, a couple of special functions, and we need the linear algebra package to be loaded. And since Screencast 2 is all about that, we'll save it for them. Now, the last thing I want to show is a very nifty feature in Maple, and that is any Maple output can actually be converted into LaTeX code, which you can then cut and paste into a document. So let's suppose I wanted to take my C matrix here, and turn and and insert it into say a homework set uh, that I'm latexing up. Well, I could go through and and type in all the delimiters and everything, all 12 entries by hand, or I could put my cursor right at the end of the output and right click, and we're going to see a uh, context menu come up. And one of the things that I could select is is a uh, conversions. And it's kind of hard to see this particular piece right here. Let me click it again. Conversions and LaTeX is one of the things that I can convert into. So if I just convert this into LaTeX, it will think for a second, I'm going to move this back over, and lo and behold, I have the LaTeX code that generates this matrix. Now I don't have to think too hard. Let's say I have this uh, document up here, and I just want to create this, and let's say I want to set this off in a uh, centered mode. I would just type double dollar sign C equals, and then pop over to my maple output and simply cut and paste and then typeset. And as we see, there is my matrix. Very cool. Very uh, mate uh, maple and mate uh, maple and latex uh, go together very very well together. So that's the end of screencast number one. Uh, stick around for screencast number two and you will learn how to use some of the uh, features of the linear algebra package, the all-important linear algebra package.